All right, guys, the 3D scanner is assembled and now let's start using it. First thing, connect both cables to your computer. Go to the Google and write this and go to this website. Here we're gonna find our, our software, what we need. I'm using Windows, so I'm gonna click on Windows right here and right there All right. Uh, the Windows 10 has uh, automatically installed this uh, Logitech camera so if not then you have to click, uh, click on this link and download that driver as well in my case this is already done automatically so alright this is over click on this way and just go to the next and next and install all right let's go to extract click on there you can get this window just go next finish next and finish and here next and finish all right now we wait all right seems that this is already open right there okay so this is our beginning first thing you have to do is to shut down this then you have to go to preference and here you have to double check which your serial, serial name is mine is COM4 and the camera I have two cameras and I hope that this this one is mine you have to look to this rate as well and you have to here change your uh, motherboard to this one if you need to uh, upload the firmware, do that. Click here and just save. All right. All right. Let's continue. If you click here and now let's go to uh, launch wizard. All right. And now we came to um, calibration point. Now put this pattern or chest pattern to this uh, to uh, to the plate, 3D scanner plate. Make sure this is on the right side, and this is actually close to this side. Putting like here in the photos, which is supposed to be nice, and you sh you should see these uh, these lines. If not, try to adjust uh, to a little bit light. And now let's go to auto check. It's recommend to use line laces vertically. Do you need to adjust vertically? Do I adjust now? Yes. All right, let's see. As you can see, the laser both are off. You see, they're both off. So the way to do this is first you have to adjust laser to be vertically so you have to you know try to it's hard with one hand but you can imagine so unscrew this screw and turn out laser right here and do the same on this way all right and now unscrew this adjustment line screw and try to find the most thinnest all right look this is the most thinnest it looked that this is the most thinnest that I have on this one now adjust again here make sure it's straight as possible 
almost. Yeah. And do on this side as well. Okay, so unscrew this screw or lens and find the most thinnest line you can possibly have. I believe this is the thinnest one. And adjust here vertically. Alright. You maybe need squeeze a little bit here please. 3D scanner to get it like this. Alright. Seems to be seems to be straight. And that's how to how to do it right here. And of course you can after screw this screw if you need it. And let's do auto check now. So this is done. Good, we go to the next one. Just follow the steps. Click on press here, calibrate. And we come to this part here. Now you have to take a measurement tool and exactly measure this side. And that depends. How did you put this uh, chest bore uh, better? So, low like in the photos. I just measure mine, and mine is 35. So I just write 35 here. Accept. And calibrate. still going still going We're done with this one. We go next. And now here you can choose either you're gonna use one laser or both laser. It doesn't really matter. It depends what you wanna scan. So I'm gonna I'm gonna just I don't know just randomly try on the left one. We go next. Okay. We are complete. Now we can go and try some scans. Or you can go here and go to the each of those adjust adjustment uh, workbench or calibration program, and you can. I mean, play with all of these settings if you want. So far, I hope we not need it. All right, let's do some scans. We have our first victim. Let's try to scan this one and see how we'll turn. All right. All right. This is just a quick test of this object. We'll see how we'll turn on the end.
almost complete more than half still going and the sides are closing in three two one zero done really nice of course I mean you have a bottom and up and top uh, empty because of the camera angle but really good I'm really thinking I'm like this I'm like this scanner you can even read it neat can zoom in even more not bad really now I'm wondering sen since this is not the text is not sharp as possible but I think I'm thinking about this camera. This camera has um, doesn't have any autofocus. It's a fixed lens, and I think uh, this is pretty close to uh, to this being seen clearly. So I will definitely try to uh, to disassemble the camera and try to uh, you know um, uh, try to uh, focus the lens and see can I get even better results on a texture or not. But this is still pretty good. Nice one. Let's try this one and see how we'll turn. Guys, the scanning is complete. Let's see the finish or the scan product. As you can see, this is pretty neat. So far I'm pretty impressed with this uh, cheap uh, 3D scanner. Really, this is really very nice. I didn't really expect to perform like this. Right, well, let's try this type of model, full of holes, and see how it's gonna turn out. We'll see on the, on the end. All right, still going. So far, pretty good, I have to say. for now almost done almost well I got to say this is pretty good of course we have some leftovers because this um, the front side was higher than a, than a bag, but it doesn't matter. I mean, look at this. This is pretty good scan. I'm thinking I like this scanner. All right, guys, and that was a 3D scanner called Cyclop from Gearbest. A really nice, cheap uh, little scanner, easy to use, easy to assemble. And I quick uh, run this uh, this couple of objects to test it up, and so far the quality is pretty good. Of course, I'm gonna do some uh, more testing, and uh, I'm gonna open these files into the Mesh Lab and uh, try to do some uh, 3D uh, editing. But uh, so far, so good. I really like it, and uh, I'm gonna continue to use it. If you like this scanner, you can uh, look into the video description. I'm gonna put link of it, and you can order it if you want. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video, take care and bye bye.